So there's two things that I want to do before I start. First, I want to just explain a little bit about who I am. We did have a bit of an introduction, but um, the reason I want to do that is because when I spoke recently at a 27 dinner dot com event, I was at the bar taking a sip of my drink and getting nervous for my speech and someone near me and talking to someone else said, who's the speaker today? And someone said, Jess Green. And the other guy said, who the fuck's Jess Green? And I must say that I think a lot of people probably ask themselves that when they look there. So I'll give you a very, very quick rundown and, and why am I actually here. And one of the reasons that I'm here is because I know nothing. And the other reason I'm here is because I can tell you about how that nothingness has, uh, has uh, you know, I can explain my client relationship to you and you can learn from that. Um, I think that's the, the, the real value for you guys. So basically, uh, born in Stellenbosch of all places as an Englishman, so I had a really tough childhood. And then, and, and then I moved into the, the world's, uh, I mean, IT guys love this industry, recruitment. Uh, and finally, I found my niche when I just said, let's take the leap, let's leave, and let's go into the online digital slash mobile slash whatever you want to call it world. And the first thing, luckily, that I got introduced to was WordPress. And from there, honestly, it has just been heaven. I have been introduced to some of the other guys. Uh, someone else just now mentioned uh, the, the swear word Joomla. But uh, I must say, but I must say that you know, and I have tried some of them, and I must say that I still like WordPress the best. So yes, I am one of those WordPress evangelists, if you want to call it that. Just want to have a quick show of hands. Who here is a client? Let's let's just use that word client. I mean, who here actually has people give them word or, or offer them WordPress services and potentially pays them for that? Is there anyone? Don't be scared. Just put up your hands. No, very few, very few clients. Okay, that's actually good because that's the way I plan my presentation. So um, most of what I'm going to talk about today is really how to deal with clients based on what I've experienced. No, I'm not the world's best expert on this topic, but I can tell you right now that there's a lot of stuff that I've, that I've uh, when I've been interacting with people that offer WordPress services that they've really done wrong. It's not only for WordPress as well. It could be for other services as well in the world. I mean, m maybe anything, some of them, but uh, specifically for WordPress because it is such an easy tool for people to work with, even people that have no IT experience. I'm just going to use that word IT rather than, than internet. No IT experience, no technical experience. They, uh, they, they can learn it, and, uh, and we'll get a little bit back to that later. Usually when I talk to people, oh, here, here's another disclaimer. Usually when I talk to people, I swear quite a lot. So what I've decided in the interests of being PC is I'm not going to swear. I'm going to use, I said one swear word, I think, already. I'm going to use words that, well, they, they are like swear words, and you'll know when you hear them. So, so let's just keep it neat today. So basically, I love clients. I've basically entitled, if you can't see it, I'll, I'll be reading everything. There's very few words on the slides. Basically, I've entitled my, my speech now, Client Love, L-O-V-E. I'll tell you what that stands for just now. And uh, just got a, a little uh, thing there. Get the WordPress relationship working. And um, I know some of you can't maybe see this. just says WordCamp 2011. And I really want you to be able to work well with clients without doing any of the following, which are, and I'll read those for con, without having sex with them, swearing together, or sharing porn together. <clears throat> a lot of th this next slide is purely a vanity slide. I notice a lot of people put their Twitter accounts on. If you want to follow me, there's my Twitter account. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's get started. So basically from my side, uh, I want to take you through that L-O-V-E. Now, um, I spoke to you about getting the relationship working and about getting people to, to learn how to use uh, uh, um, WordPress. I think the first thing that you ever need to do with any of your clients and something that uh, I think one or maybe two of the providers that I've worked with so far in WordPress have really sat down and done is to learn who the client is. I mean, how many of you, and please, if, um, maybe everyone should close their eyes and those who put up their hands won't be seen, but how many of you have worked with a client that you've never ever spoken to on the phone? How many of you, okay, I already see some hands going up. How many of you worked on with a client, okay, fair enough, there may be overseas and there are some exceptions, but how many of you have worked with a client that you've never uh, um, actually spend a certain amount of hours asking them how, how are you, how do you experience WordPress, why have you even come to me, etc, etc. A lot of people are like, oh yes, I got a new client. They want me to build this. I've built 10 of them already. They obviously want that. Let's go. So um, the first thing that I usually ask people to, to, to really do is, okay, what do you need to know about me to make this work? And this has been something that has really been, been able to get them to understand what it is that I want to achieve with the site. It's very often not what, they, what, they, um, what they're expecting. Remember that uh, old adage, assumptions, uh, you take the word assume and you break it up into ass, you, me. Makes an ass of, of you or me. So basically what I've written on there, first of all, who are you dealing with? Malema, Gandhi, Lesha. 
In fact, I've added that Lesha at the end there because who knows here who Lesha is? There's a new film called Lesha. It's quite a nice one. The fact of the matter is we don't know who our clients are until we actually go and ask them. Um, so, so find out as absolute much as you can. Um, even those questions where you think it's pretty obvious, like why did you choose that domain name, immigrationsouthafrica.org? Well, there were actual reasons why I've, why I've chosen that uh, that uh, aren't actually uh, expressed in the name. Obviously, those are the kind of people I want to attract, but we, you know, there, there's an actual aim that I have with the site at the end of the day. Uh, and then uh, you also have to ask yourself, what kind of clients do you want to work with? Because you may learn something about them and you may actually say to yourself, I don't want to work with this guy. Who here has ever fired a client? Yeah, good for you. Great. Because you won and they actually won as well, didn't it? Yeah. I mean, that's the way that it should be. So are you actually looking for guys like this? Are you looking for guys like this? No, most of the guys are looking for clients like this. <laughs> but at the end of the day, that guy could be your best client because he could be the one where you actually have the best solution for and when you find out what he needs, you're like, I know exactly how to make this guy happy. And then that kind of client's going to follow you forever. So that's, uh, that's another thing that's rather important. More words at the bottom you may not want to be able to read. Who do you want to deal with? Okay, so that's the L. Learn. Learn about them. Learn about your clients, every single thing that you can. Even while you're in the relationship, learn more about them. I'm not saying learn necessarily how many kids they have and stuff like that. You may learn things that you don't want to know, and there's always things that you also don't need to know, but, uh, but learn as much as what they want to achieve. Okay, the next thing that I really try and focus on very, very much is the O, and there that just blatantly stands for open communication. You need to tell the people what you can do and what you can't do. Oh, my gosh, it has irritated me all the way to if you believe in heaven, all the way to heaven, that I say to a guy, this is what I need done. Oh, no, no, that's great. I mean, let's take SEO, for example. I had very big luck to work with a very good SEO specialist in, in, in my WordPress experience. But uh, some guys out there have said, oh, no, no, we'll get you on page one. And then they say, yeah, we go, here's page one. And then they take a screenshot and they send it to you. And then I type the same words into Google and then it shows me something totally different. So you have to tell them if you can do it or if you can't. And if you can't, it's okay. Um, they're not going to fire you. They just may not use you. Or maybe you'll actually learn something and learn how to do what they want to do. Or maybe what they do can't be done. But open communication, I find, has been incredibly, uh, an incredibly big problem. And even if they are overseas, I really still advise you to give them a call. You can Skype them. D don't say the calls are expensive. I mean, even with uh, all the problems that we have with bandwidth and whatever the case may be, you can still Skype them. You can still give them a call. And uh, I'm pretty sure that the kind of prices that you guys can charge, you can can pay for that communication anyway. Um, some people say, no, I'd rather do everything over email. Mm, I still feel that you need at least one phone call in the beginning, or at least one meeting in the beginning. So um, I asked just now who's dealt with a client who's never ever uh, actually met them or been on the phone with them. It's, I, I think it's dangerous. Sometimes you meet the people and you're like, well, this is actually a client that I can really do a lot of business with. That guy is most probably going to link you up and connect you with other people when he's met you and when he's happy with you. So. It's another thing. Uh, <clears throat> more words. The second most important uh, irritation is knowing that you're not telling them something. Yes, that's also the feeling I got. Be open in your, in your communication. And then I've also written, open up very wide with clients. Otherwise, you'll end up in this picture, and you can guess which person you'll be in this picture. OK, so now let's move on to the V. What could the, well, it just says, so you know them, and they know you. Perfect. So now let's move on to, it might, it might look as though I didn't create this presentation, but I did. Now we're going to move on to the, the V. And the V is that you need to be very, very clear with them. And you need to be, uh, I mean, we said very, very open, but you also need to be very, very strict with them. That's what I mean about clear. I don't mean that they're signing off on something and now you've delivered it and everyone's happy. You also need to be strict because you know about things like scope creep and all of that. I mean, every time I see somebody slating client relationships on the internet, it's usually a web designer who's written this long thing about this is what the client wanted in the beginning and now they want this and now they're telling me I can't do my job, et cetera, et cetera. There are a lot of these sort of emails that people have forwarded and they're very, very funny. But at the end of the day, it's also about being strict. And just now I told you about firing clients. It doesn't necessarily mean that you've, you're firing them because they're terrible and they're bad. It sometimes just mean that the, means that the relationship is not going to work. That's actually what happens in a job as well. If you're firing someone or someone's firing you, it means the relationship isn't working. Um, so, so anyway, we've got a nice guy there who's telling you his, with his book of rules. You need to lay some, down some rules in the beginning. Um, the rules that I usually had with the people is how to contact them, very important. 
worst thing you can possibly have is someone doing something for you, and guess what? You can't get hold of them, or they can't get hold of you. I mean, that must be absolutely terrible. We, at uh, Winter Deal, because I still work there now, we, we currently have a situation with one or two of our providers, and it's incredibly irritating, and what do they immediately want to do? Yeah, anybody? What do they immediately want to do when they can't get hold of you? Scream, yeah, scream. They look for someone else. They start talking to other people. So um, you don't want that to happen to you, but also it shouldn't happen to, to them either. So if they do not follow your rules, and obviously you've got to be clear and you've got to be obviously fair in that with your rules, and the same vice versa, then you need to fire the, the malemas. You need to fire them. As I said, no swear words today. So uh, that's what I wrote there. Be firm and clear, otherwise... FTW, fire the malemas. You can pretend, you, you can make up whatever W stands for for you. So that's the V. Uh, and here yeah, I've used another spirit as well. The greatest irritation from clients and for me in the beginning as well, before I knew something about WordPress, was not knowing what the malema you are talking about. Okay. Now, honestly, you know, when a guy comes to me and goes, oh, no, imagine I know nothing. He goes, oh, no, that's cool. I don't even know why it's called, Word I don't even know what the word WordPress is. Uh, is and the guy goes, no, 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 don't worry, we're going to get you a page rank of six and you're going to have outgoing links and you're going to have this uh, tag here and I'm, it means nothing. So you may as well not even have said it. So this is the real crux in my opinion of the, of the L-O-V-E is the last one is E for educate. If I were you and you have clients, try to teach them everything that you know. Obviously you can't, obviously you are the expert. And some people have actually said to me, no, but if I tell them this, then they'll know how to do it, and then they'll go and do it themselves. If you're an expert, they can't do it themselves, unless they now decide, I'm going to do this, go and study, go and get all the experience that you have. Otherwise, maybe you aren't an expert. I don't know. I've helped out some people with WordPress sites. I'm not an expert. I've taught them everything they know, and then they just love it. And you know what happens to your clients when they know more about in this specific situation, WordPress, and more about what you're offering them. They actually start helping you to do your job. That's the number one. Number two, they start off asking you for more services. Because now, when I know what page rank is, or I know what an uh, incoming link is, now I go, oh, yeah, yeah, we can actually contact this guy to get an incoming link now. And he's, his site has this uh, page rank or this amount of traffic or whatever the case may be. And all of a sudden, it's, uh, it's starting to, to help you deliver to him. Shortens your time may shorten the amount of money you're getting in, but I doubt it. In any event, he's going to come back to you for more and more and more after that. So the most important thing I can usually say to people is educate your clients. You've got to try and teach them every single thing they know and put it in plain English. Put it in plain English. I mean, I've given you a lot of SEO examples now, but if, if someone had to come to me and say, okay, your website isn't doing well, we can make it do well. Okay, great. The reason that we can make it do well is we can improve the way that the search engines in. Tell him what search engine result page is. Explain a lot of these things to him. So that now you can also use your jargon to him and your emails as well. All of a sudden, the guy gets you. And you get him. And now you can start to really you know, tell him, oh, and you know what we can actually also do for you? Uh, and now you can start to upsell. You can start to really have a solid relationship, a long-term relationship. And at the end of the day, we're all here to, you know, to make money in some sense. You can also make money out of it. So, um, as I said, the greatest irritation for me always was when the guy would just babble on and I would go, whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? What is Then when I understood everything, I was, I was pretty, pretty happy about it. Okay, um, doing quite well on time. So, I just wrote at the end, educate them. Educate your client. So, if we have to quickly go through those again, um, we basically have learn as much as you can about your clients. If you do not have a standard sort of set of questions for any client, that whether it's in your head, whether it's on paper, on an email, whatever the case may be, or in your first Skype call, then you're setting yourself up for failure and assuming things that the client wants, or later on having to go and find these things out when the client is now overseas in Europe, as he said. Open communication with the people. Make sure that they know what's going on. Uh, v stood for very something. <laughs> very clear, thank you. Very clear and very strict. And the word strict, okay, we all think of, you know, strict teachers, and you must know I had a struggle finding the right kind of picture when I typed in strict teacher into Google. But, but I must say that strict is not, you know, now they are bad clients. It's just about setting some boundaries. So now they know exactly where they need to, to or, or, or what, you, you know, they know how to interact with you. It's all, it's, all, it's all about that. And the last one, the main one, as I said, is educate. We really want to make 100% sure that our clients know what's going on, WordPress is actually not that difficult. If I look at myself a year and a half ago, when I sort of first 
click to add a post and a title and, and, what, and whatnot. Sure, now, you know, the, the ease, if I don't, I don't know why there isn't such a, such a course, maybe there isn't, and please, uh, you know, add it to the questions or tell me about it, but if I could have a month course just to learn how to install and, uh, and you know, update and use the back end of a WordPress platform or, or a WordPress website, oh my gosh, I would have been doing this long ago. So, and that's just simply education. So, w WordPress is the easiest one. And that's basically all.